This is just a very short introduction to the art of the Roman Empire. Uh, there are several categories we'll look at and more deeply later. But uh, the thing to keep in mind is though the Romans were not the most creative and sensitive artists um, because they were too busy being brutal, uh, they were very successful at uh, focusing on technology. Uh, they were obsessed with technology and were very successful at using it to make things bigger, better, faster, stronger. Uh, and that is what they did and what makes their art, uh, their architecture especially, so fascinating to look at. Architecture and engineering really are the greatest contributions that the Romans made to our culture, I think, our artistic culture and history. So pay special attention there. I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll do more later. So there are four main categories of Roman art that we're going to include uh, in this video. The first and most important is architecture because that is where they made the greatest contributions in terms of technology and the ambition with which they built. There are five main technologies that the Romans used to create these monumental buildings and structures that they left behind for us and we're going to look at all five of those technologies. The first would be the Roman arch, the stone arch. The second would be the development of concrete. The third would be the science of surveying, which made possible the building of the roads and the aqueducts. The fourth very interesting technology is hypocost. Hypocost technology, a kind of underfloor heating, uh, and also plumbing. They were very advanced in what they could do and what they did do. And finally, the dome, another Roman innovation that was not something that they invented, but something they perfected and took to a higher level than anyone had before. Sculpture is another important category of Roman art, another tradition they inherited from the Greeks, but they did contribute a few developments, and there are some characteristic types of Roman sculpture that we will be looking at. Uh, one is their use of the bust, the portrait bust. Another is their extensive use of narrative relief, relief uh, carving that tells a story, that gives information and also their creation of triumphal columns and triumphal arches, which made use of this incredible narrative relief. And finally, sarcophagi, basically above ground tombs or coffins that are decorated with sculpture of many different kinds. In Roman painting, we see many of the same categories that we see in paintings of our own time. Uh, there is landscape, portrait, genre painting or scenes from everyday life, and scenes from mythology and history and things like that. What made Roman paintings so durable and the reason we have so many great examples to look at uh, was the development of fresco painting. Uh, fresco means fresh, and these were painted on fresh plaster, wet plaster, with pigments that would bond to the uh, plaster, and it created uh, a painting that would endure for a very, very long time. Roman mosaics show us many of the same kinds of subjects that we would expect to see in Roman painting. Portrait, landscapes, genre or scenes from everyday life, and other categories, historical figures, mythology, and things like that. We'll look at how mosaics were made, the materials that they used, and what makes them so durable.